uh, hello good people so in this video guys i'll be looking at um, the trade or the pairs that i'm currently looking at and some of them I'm, I'm still in some of them i'm out some of them i'm still focusing them so uh let's start on the top okay we have the euro cred uh, the euro canadian dollar on this one i'm still holding some trade that i took here some trade that i took here as, as well because based on these uh numbers here i can see that i can see that uh, we are still bearish aggressively here and here the market obviously is going to continue selling uh but if you've been in this trade for quite some time you can start closing your 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 money guys because the market is coming to these extreme uh support okay it may yes it may reject but the overall trend it may go down okay that's my prediction the overall trend is supposed to go down and hit you know the the previous support that is visible on the uh, on the weekly time frame, which is here. But uh, currently, the market is approaching that big support that is visible on the daily. You can just close your your profits, close your profits. And another thing that tell me that it's it's a good time to close is because now the market is choppy going down. See. When the market is going down choppy 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 there is a high chance that it's going to go up aggressively then go up aggressively go up aggressively and when it starts to be choppy like this that when you know that shows that buyers are are losing momentum and then sellers they may come and kick in with a huge momentum so if you see something like this stay away all right Okay, Euro, Euro Swiss. Okay, this is a trade I given out today. I hope you are taking my signals because they are profitable. Okay, these signals here, these signals here, these signals here. See, this one is in deep profit as we speak right now. This one also, okay, this one is still, you know, it went up, we were almost kicked out and then came now somewhere around here, somewhere around break even. And then this one, we are deep in profit. The market is currently here. So let's hold until our TP is hit. Okay. So this week, uh, all of the signals that are given out, currently they are deep in profit. Okay. Uh, this one it was a very easy call here. Very easy call. Uh, Euro Swiss. Let's check the Euro. Okay, let's check the Euro. Boom, the Euro. And then the Swiss. So if the Euro is down and then the Swiss is neutral, obviously the graph is supposed to go down. And we've seen that the market here is making clear clear breaks and retest as you can see the market is still making you know, clear breaks and retest with impulsive moves when i talk about impulsive moves i talk about something like this these kind of stick that are selling are very big you know market just goes down like one two three and then the pullback is so choppy that tells us that the market is still bearish okay that's a, a very very bear, bearish sign okay so i'm still holding on this sheet here um yeah okay so let's go back just a little bit remember before i said if you are paying um uh, if the market is already down and then you are paying a, a, a weak currency maybe minus five with a neutral currency then you must stay away from that currency okay? but there's something that I will, I will be teaching you guys uh based on how to hold the trade even though you see a weak versus a neutral okay so i'm going to teach you something you know the videos are coming just be patient with me it's just that 
uh, I don't have enough time to make videos because I need to be I need to explain something that I I won't be making mistakes on. Okay, I need to be careful when I explain to you because once you get the information that is not accurate, it's going to be embedded into your head for for the rest of your life. Okay, so let's continue. GPUSD. So on GPUSD, I got in here with a very big stop loss because um, I saw that the market is making a clear bearish angle in here. As you can see, guys, here this very big fat bearish angle thing, but it was a very late entry for people who want to take sniper entries. But if you still want to enter, guys. Um, I'm going to show you something as you can see the market went up and up and up and then started dropping breaking the previous uh, support and then started to to pull back this is an aggressive head and shoulder pattern this is our left, sh left shoulder the head and then the right shoulder so you can start selling here boom and uh, your stop loss is going to be a little bit tighter something like this yeah something like this because i um, i don't think that the market is going to go up all the way up to this zone before it goes down i don't believe so but yeah this is going to be a perfect entry somewhere around here but uh if i've seen that i could have taken a sell here after this bearish and thing, this bearish pattern here. You see this one is bigger than this, and the market is at this zone. So that's a very uh, nice entry for you. Okay. JP, JPY, let's see what's happening there. Uh, nothing. Okay, GP, NZD. What's happening here? Uh, here I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure about this buy. I'm gonna keep you updated if this buy is still valid. But for now, don't take a sell. Don't take a buy. I mean. Okay, this one, guys. Um, this one, guys, is similar to GPUSD, but this one is much better because this one, the sentiment of the market. Can clearly see that the NZD is currently bearish aggressively, and then the USD is sort of about this. I was supposed to, to fix this thing, okay? The USD is buying aggressively with plus four, so that's why we see a very strong bearish movement. As you can see here, we've been selling, 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 okay? So we got. We got a breakout of this push for the breakout retail sell. Okay. So now let's jump into the H1. I'm not sure what's happening on my internet. These days I'm having an issue of my internet, but here it's working. I'm not sure what's happening. Okay. So here we got a breakout market was pushing, pushing, pushing break okay so i was expecting to see the market pulling back to these zones or these zones here and then i decided to enter here in this zone why because on the 15 minute time frame guys we've seen that the market is making a choppy rejection some rejections here market went up and then here it made some rejections so let me just zoom in just to make you guys see what I'm talking about. These objections here with a very nice bearish angle thing here. This bearish. Boom. Okay. That's when I entered. So currently I'm in a small loss, but hopefully the market is going to go into my favor. Pay euros are also given out. Now we are in profit. Okay, 
and profit I entered yesterday somewhere around here and then now we are starting to be in in a positive side most of this of the pairs that I'm, I'm breaking down are, are selling guys so we're just following what the market is giving us okay okay this one we're selling uh, look at JPY Oh yeah, KJPY. This is a new trade for you guys to, to buy this thing. Okay, I'm going to explain why I'm still buying when the market is still far. Uh, new videos are coming, guys, but the market has broken the previous resistance zones. As you can see, this one has broken. Okay, I'm still waiting for this chart to load. Okay, as you can see, we have a resistance. We have a support. Have a resistance, have a resistance. Then the market went all the way up, came back down, all the way up, breaking the previous, you know, all this resistance, and then came to retest. Now it's making a push and we're feeling with some rejection, rejections below. Then now we're free to go to this next zone, which is this one and this one. Okay. So let's dive into the H. Okay, let's zoom in. As you can see, guys, the market had made has made uh, you know these nice rejections followed by an engulfing candlestick. So once this thing closes here, then I'll start buying. Why? Looking at this thing here, Canadian dollar is still bullish, and then the JPY is bearish with minus three. Okay, the JPY is bearish at minus two, but on the daily time frame, remember this thing is calculated on the H4. On the daily, we've seen that the, the CAD is still bullish, and then the JPY is here. Okay, I think minus five. Okay, so that means we are still pushing to the upside. But I'm gonna add more videos that are going to explain how to how to analyze uh, the correlations like this. This is calculated on the daily, as you can see, and the other one is calculated on the H4. So if the H4 is also lining up with the daily, then we're gonna see a long-term trend as we are buying the, the CAD JPY. As you can see, guys, here the, J, the CAD is bullish, and here, what's happening? I thought here it was, I think it was yesterday when it was uh, pushing to the upside, but I still believe that it's going to push. Okay, it was yesterday, as you can see. Yesterday it was pushing to the upside. Now it's pulling back just a little, but it's still going to move. The market is still going to push to the upside. Okay, as you can see here, bullish and galloping kind of steep is closing. It's about to close, then we are free to go. All right. Okay, this one I didn't get an entry, but you know, the direction was caught pretty nice for people who are holding five R. Okay, five R. But I closed most of my entries here, and then I left it with few ones here because I was still waiting for a pullback. Okay, and that is Swiss. This is new. Uh, okay, let's check the correlations here. And that this was, and that this bearish, and then the Swiss is uh, neutral. So let's hold, let us hold, let us hold, let us hold. Okay. And that this still here bearish, here is still neutral on the daily. Uh, okay, let's hold. Let us hold because we still have a free, uh, you know, a free range here. This big gap that we need to fill up until here. Okay, so we are done with the technicals. I mean, with the with this one, guys. Okay, I'm signing out. Cheers.